News for Jax is hearing from concerned business owners who say a one-day, one-spark festival could be bad for their bottom line. Yesterday, we told you the world's largest crowdsourcing event could be cut in half. Last year, it lasted six days. And now the board is floating the idea of reducing it to a three, starting with a one-day public festival on Wednesday, April the 6th. So then it would run the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Channel 4's Marcus White joining us live downtown from One Sparks Hub at Hemming Park. And Marcus, there are some other changes that we could see this year. Well, the 2016 version of the festival is going to be similar to the festivals we've seen in years past, but only one day will be open to the public. So one of the reasons why we're looking at one day is we want to keep the festival atmosphere, and we know that people really like coming downtown, but we also want to be able to expand and focus on connecting creators with intellectual and financial capital. The one-day public event will be followed by two days of meetings between creators and funders with entrepreneurs pitching venture capitalists and angel investors in Shark Tank-like events. The one-day public event could potentially be held on a Wednesday. Last year's experience, Wednesday night and Thursday night of One Spark was just as busy as Friday and Saturday night. So I think if it is a well-done, um, well-planned-out event, Jacksonville is going to respond. It's been proven in the past, and I think it'll be that way going forward. We spoke to Jennifer O'Donnell, the GM of Chamberlain Bookmine, about how it would impact business. We got coffee, we sold um, beer, we sold food, and we sold books because we're a bookstore. Um, basically, that was about uh, twenty-five to twenty-seven thousand dollars in sales. Which yeah. is compared to normal. That's a substantial loss of income. Yeah. O'Donnell says the company will survive, but she fears for how it will affect the creators. Is this night that we had the busiest day we experienced with one spark last year was friday prior to that it was friday and saturday they were kind of uh, running neck and neck so for them to do it on wednesday I, I don't understand the reasoning behind that and again it is the creators that are going to suffer from that The number of creators has not been decided yet, but it will be fewer than last year. It also hasn't been determined just how much space the festival will occupy this year, but more details are expected to be released within the next week. Marcus White, Channel 4, your local station.